weekend. I will explain how warm we'll get in my full forecast coming up. Thanks, Karen. Today, a message sent loud and clear to vandals that targeted the Anne Frank Human Rights Memorial. Politicians unite to condemn the recent anti-Semitic attack in Boise. Six on your side's Tammy Scardino was there. It was a simple message. Hate will not be tolerated in Idaho. There were even pleas to the person or persons who committed the act to get help. U.S. Senator Mike Crapo said he was appalled to hear the news of vandalism four days in a row at the Anne Frank Memorial. He said frustrations need to be put aside on all Americans' part to unite a divided nation. It is unacceptable, and I am so excited to hear that we are going to use the vandalism that occurred here to not only reject hate in Idaho, but to expand the memorial and use it for an opportunity for growth. The public rejection of acting out on hateful thoughts was held at the very memorial unique to the country where the power of words is showcased. Those in attendance were there to support Senator Crapo in publicly taking a stand. In the words of Anne Frank, how lovely to think no one need wait a moment. We can start now, start slowly changing the world. Hopefully it's the last act of hate directed towards the Anne Frank Memorial, but it's not going to be the last act of hate that happens in the United States. And I just hope it's the beginning of our congressional delegation starting to speak out against it. It was also a chance for attendees to show how proud they are to have the memorial in the gem state, where the national reputation has not always been perceived as welcoming to all. It's not okay, Dylan Roof was basically just a kid. So this can escalate. I think it's really important that the entire community makes a stand when it happens and does take it seriously. Tammy Scardino, six on your side. Earlier this year, 